Hey guys, it's Wes with Fresh Salt Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a mud minnow fly that works really, really well for us pretty much all year round, but typically we use it a lot in the wintertime. First, you're going to start off and you're just going to do some X wraps with a medium dumbbell eye. I like ones that are painted up to look like eyes, it helps give you a little more realistic effect on the fly. Next, you're going to advance your thread back to about the bend of the hook and you're going to tie in your first material which is some black mylar tubing. This is going to give it a little bit of extra weight on the belly and when you pick it out with your scissors like I'm doing right here it gives you this really crazy um, bundle of flash that kind of hangs out behind the fly and helps keep the tail from fouling. So once we're done picking it out I'm just going to clean it up with some tight thread wraps and move on to my second material which is some Senyo's Fusion Dub made by Hairline. I'm going to use the midnight color here for my black and purple color scheme. I'm going to take about, uh, I don't know, half a pencil width uh, of material and I'm going to tie it in as close to the eyes as I can get it. And then I'm going to fold it over in half and tie the second half in. After I get that piece tied in, I'm going to advance my thread to in front of the lead eyes and I'm going to tie in another clump of the fusion dub about the same thickness and same style kind of half and half because the material is synthetic I want to make sure that my last couple of wraps are really really tight and that'll help prevent them from slipping out of the thread wraps and it will give me a stronger base to tie my final material on which is a rabbit zonker in the standard cut before I tie the zonker in, I'm going to measure it up against the hook to make sure I can find the exact spot to poke it through the hide. And this will help keep the zonker secure on the second half of the hook as well as help prevent some fouling. Once I've gotten that measurement, I'm going to poke it through and pull it out of the vise and slide the zonker all the way flush up against the shank of the hook. I'm going to put the fly back in the vise straighten out my zonker strip and then I'm going to tie it in very tightly right snug up to the eye of the hook and snug against the lead eye that's weighting the fly down. Once I get it tied in I'm going to pull that tag of the hide as tight as I possibly can and cut them as close to the thread wraps as I possibly can without cutting them. Once I cut the excess off I'm going to whip finish and just glue it up and that's the fly right there. This is a really, really good fly for wintertime redfish and sea trout. I like it in the fall, so it's perfect time to start fishing it. Grab your materials, and thanks for watching.